theatre has been here on the St Kilda foreshore for over 90 years. First built in the 1920s, it's long been the playground for Melbourne. It's right next door to Melbourne's busiest beach, where thousands come every year to enjoy our fantastic bay. We want to make sure that the Palais is restored to its former beauty and that its future is assured. It's our most flexible and beautiful theatre and we need to bring it back to its former beauty. The whole of the Palais Theatre, including its interiors and some of the setting around the building, is protected on the Victorian Heritage Register. And that just goes to show how important the place is. It's an iconic building and a real landmark structure for the people of Victoria. The original colour scheme for the building was completely different to what you see today. It was actually much more orange, um, an earthy sort of tone which suited the, uh, the beach marine environment in which the building sits. It was an iron sulphate treatment and they used to spray that on the wet cement render and that reacted with the lime in the cement and made this bright vibrant orange colour. The current white paint scheme was applied but it wasn't really traditional to the building. But we're trying to take the building back to the original intent, the original scheme of the designer and the builder by bringing back the earthy beachy colour scheme. One of the important parts of the heritage permit is the reinstatement of the original sign and lighting on the front of the building, the Palais Theatre logo. It's been partly corroded by being in that marine environment, so some of the letters are being replaced. But also the original lighting neon is being um, also um, reinstated. The Palais Theatre was really meant to be a, a, an iconic structure, a vibrant building, uh, an entertainment hub in, in this coastal setting. All Melbournians have a love affair with this theatre in some way. The Victorian Government is investing over $13 million in this fantastic restoration and we're doing that in partnership with the City of Port Phillip who are also kicking in $7 million. Restoring the Palais to its former beauty is a fantastic outcome for all Victorians because it will be a monument to our fantastic cultural past and a signpost to our even better cultural future. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.